Hey, this is not a spring chicken. I'm so excited because today we have a different look for you. I know it may look similar, but you, you're not used to getting sunsets at the beach, and it's really, really clear because it's been rainy. So anyway, today we've been out at St. Vincent de Paul. Oh, yeah, St. Vincent de Paul. And it was about 300 kids, and it's for your nation to help in the and at the best featuring Vincent DePaul, at <laughs> Vincent DePaul. <laughs> I know, I just love that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here with Old Camel, we're here with comments and the headlines of today. The Senate extends the payroll tax cut. Yeah, but they basically put Obama in a position where Obama has promised to veto it with the, um, with the pipeline in it, which will, which will put 20,000 union pipe, 25,000 20, union workers to work. They said if he vetoes the bill, he kills 20,000 union jobs. And they, 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 they said the real loser in this whole mess was Obama because they called his bluff. Oh, really? Yeah. And social issues bubbling up in the GOP campaign. Well, yeah, the Democrat. Uh, uh, okay, everybody's calling everybody else, you know, you know you're anti Muslim, you're anti gay. I'm more conservative. I'm the only conservative. I mean, this. Uh, abortion rights. I mean, first of all, they have to understand the Tea Party doesn't care about gay rights. They don't care about religious rights. They don't care about most of that stuff they, on abortion. They only care about cutting the stupid spending. And social issues bubbling up in GOP campaigns. Oh, well, that's right, man. <laughs> I know. She loves doing the same thing more than I once. do. Well, sometimes it's to emphasize it, and other yeah. times it's because. Okay, yeah. I, my mind was wandering. Yeah. You tell us, and wanders a lot because it really looks nice in 3D. It does, doesn't it? I think that's really cool. And Mexico says captured cartel leader had arsenal. Yeah, and the Obama administration was quick to point out to Eric Holder that they were guns purchased in the United States, and then the Republicans were quick to point out, well, no, they were guns supplied to South America 30 years ago. <laughs> So Small the, details. Just minor details. Well, see, of Holder and Obama were set technically right. They were purchased from the United States. Of course, they were purchased to give to militaries in South America. And then what happened is when they replace weapons in South America, they sell the things off to anybody. A woman dies and two people hurt in freak New York City elevator accident. Well, I know I hate elevators because elevators are dangerous. Really? Least, I know they're dangerous. I've been on an elevator that had a free fall. In Vermont fraternity ass members, who would you like to rape? I know. Are you serious? And, 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 and then they suspended the fraternity for the rest of the year. Oh yeah, let me guess what for. Yeah, and then they're going to sue the college. It is a freedom of speech thing. Oh really? Totally. Well, okay. Uh, they can, you know, since when can you not ask a question in this country? Even if it's inappropriate. It's, uh, we have a constitution that allows you to make a jackass out of yourself, which they have totally forgotten. And it, people it, do that. As I did have to point out to the people over on my side of Facebook who are all for civil rights and all for non-censorship, who actually want to pass a piece of legislation that restricts speech to only those people that should be uh, allowed to do it. Are you serious? Yeah. So, I mean... The, the ones that basically say that they're most they're, they're for the most to supporting freedom of speech are always the first ones willing to restrict it for almost any reason. Isn't that always amazing? Yeah. And twin boys and one transgender become brother and sister. I know, but the problem is is that they, uh, the, the parents made a choice that they should have a, a cute little girl instead of a boy. When the girl grows up and finds out she used to be a boy, you will probably be all wait, pissed off about it. Wait a minute, the parents did that when they... Yeah, well, one was a transgender, which means it could be either, it's, it's more than likely a boy, so they decide to make it a girl, which means she can never have children. She, as a girl, she can never have children. As a boy, she could. So they fixed that all up. Mm. Um, S Saddam Hussein's dinner were discovered at New York City restaurant. I know, some enterprising person in the military. I mean, my father's unit did in World War II. My father got back into the war at the end after... Uh, you know, his, his war in Europe for well, most of the time came into it to Bridge or Morgan. What's it do have his name on it? Well, yeah, it had his name on it, but they grabbed everybody. They grabbed Hitler's silverware. They oh, grabbed, did they? They grabbed they, all this stuff. I mean, uh, what's his name? I think John Chancellor bought uh, one of, uh, of, of 
Van Gogh, not Van Gogh, is it, who was the guy that cut his ear off? Van Gogh. It was Van Gogh. Well, he actually, bought, he didn't cut his ear off, somebody else did. No, but the, he, he bought one of the, the sunflowers for like $25 from a Russian soldier yeah. and eventually gave it back to the people. Yeah. yeah, well, because then actually all that stuff was stolen property. Yeah, how would you like to pay millions and then have to return it? I know, but the people that pay millions don't ever let anybody know they've got them. Oh, which for, is why they don't let people For twenty-five dollars, you put it on your wall and let people see it. And then, is that a command go? Well, I bought it. I bought it from a soldier in World War II from the Russian military. So, like, nobody bought. Nobody believed it until somebody. That's a Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Then he had to give it back. So. And another company pulls ads from TLC's All American Muslim. Okay, the problem is they all pull the plate that, that show lost its advertisers in November. When they found out it was nothing but a piece of propaganda for the Muslim religion, they're not allowed to do propaganda for the Christian religion, and they found out it was pure OD prop, you know, like these things, you know, I love that, you know, you'd never have this being done on, Amer on any Ameri on any commercial station, you know, so when you say, see those Muslims over there, I'm a, I'm a rabbi, I'm going to go over and put it in their face. So the woman says, see those Jews over there? I'm going to walk over there and teach them a lesson. They know that's what they say. I mean, and since there is no reality in reality, it's all written. You know that that they uh, it, 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 you know, it was all staged. So everybody knew in advance what was being done. Everybody. They said what was happening was they told the people that were sponsoring the show something other than what they got. And when that happens, they drop out. Six Waltons have more wealth than the bottom 30% of Americans. Anyway, they keep bringing this one up. They did that again today. Again? Oh, Harry Reid on the Florida Senate. I got an example. And he said the wealthy in this country, are, I don't know, the, we have empirical data to say the wealthy in this nation have never created any jobs. And that the Waltons, for instance, say, you know, six of their family members have more wealth than the 30% of the people in our country. I said, no, the 30% of the bottom have 50 to $70 trillion in wealth. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like we, we've tried it before. A, a trillion is a million billion. Mm -hmm. You and 93 million is is close to one tenth of what you need to have one trillion dollars of the wealth at the bottom. So well, somebody can add. Well, no, the person who put the study out was um, uh, one of Obama's uh, ca cabinet people. He wrote a book about it. And then, you know, the, he's also the one that says there is no empirical proof that the wealthy have ever created, created as much as one job in our nation. I think there's some built-in bias there. What do you think? Yeah, he's trying to make a point for Obama's running on the thing that the wealthy are, are destroying the country. No, without the wealthy, you don't have any jobs. And U.S. withdrawal in Iraq rolls into the final act. Yeah, the final act is they're getting ready. The uh, government is already breaking up. As the troops pull out for uh, within the next week or so, the civil war is about to start. I mean, they're really, I mean, Democrats are really starting to lay it on heavy on Obama. Said uh, One of them said this morning, they said, I talked to Maliki, and at no time did our president ever have anybody talk to the Iraqi government about keeping troops there. He just wanted a campaign promise fulfilled. I this see. is from a Democrat. Well, the Democrats... Uh, all the Democrats that look like they're on the verge of losing their seats in the Senate are uh, sort of bailing on Obama. And Moody's cuts Belgium ratings by two notches. Yeah, and their market collapsed, but don't worry. Our market in the futures is going up on the news that, oh, the Belgium got cut, Spain is getting cut, and they cut the ratings on all the American main banks in the country as of this morning. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. And Barry Bonds gets two years probation and steroids code. Well, he said no one's going to ever stop taking steroids if nobody's going to uphold the law. I mean, they, they give him a slap, they give him a $2,000 fine and 30 days house arrest, uh, which meant that he can go any place he wants to go just as long as he goes accompanied by somebody. Really? And community service, which is you no know, 250 hours of community service, he's going to get it all appealed and thrown out saying that, the, you know, the, they wanted 15 months in jail for what he did, but the judge hasn't jailed anybody on steroids, except for, uh, uh, the only one that's been judged is, uh, jailed is a woman. Really? Yep. The only person that has been jailed, the guy that gave her the steroids, the guy that lied to Congress, the guy that lied to everyone, think of, he didn't get any time, none whatsoever. What? But uh, Marion Jones got six months in a federal prison. That doesn't sound right. Because he's anti-woman and pro-guy, so. 
And Senate leaders reach last minute accord. Well, yeah, because that's a, they, you know, the last minute accord was that they, 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 they want to leave town, but see, that doesn't mean Obama still has not signed it. They sent it to him this morning, and Obama may not sign it because he's got parts in it that he'd object. They, got, they said, uh, in order to pe appease the extreme left of his party, they think there's a good chance that he may not sign any of the legislation that was sent to him. You know, and then they said it, it, people talk about it being a political nightmare if he chooses to do that. So. Oh, really? And a Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Being alone is never fun, but many are always alone.